fishing, it's fine, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you guys how I make hangui, which is actually a salted fish. It works best when you're using a white fish, maybe like a halibut or stripers. And we do a lot of stripers in our family. And I was taught how to do this from a really close friend of the family. And what this does is it um, preserves the fish. <laughs> We call it hangi salt fish, and this is what it looks like after you're done. So we put it in here, put it in oil, which I'll show you guys how to do, and just leave it. And it lasts for a long, long time. You could probably leave it in there for over a year. But once you crack it, you got to put it in the ice box. <laughs> So I'm going to show you some of the basic stuff you're going to need. It's really simple. First of all, you're going to need this Norton's rock salt. So it's just a uh, rock salt, and I'm probably going to use probably probably this bag is 40 pounds, and I probably use three quarters of it. So you're probably going to use 25 to 30 pounds of rock salt. Then you're going to need a uh, stick a metal this one's a metal rod that i'm going to poke it in uh, just something to scoop the rock salt a razor blade some string a wire and then basically little tools on a knife just to help get things ready and how we do it is per how many pounds of fishes so the fish i'm going to do is around 12 pounds the striper and you don't clean it or nothing you just leave it just like you brought it home and after I'm done and it's sitting there, I have to let it cure. And it's usually one day for every two pounds. Last one I did was in the summertime, so it dried a little bit faster. Now we're in the fall, so I'm probably going to give it a little bit more. So a 12 pounder is usually going to take six or seven days. <laughs> I can't bend anymore. People said, what the hell, Harry? You're 90 years old, so you you can't bend, so what? So I can bend it. How long the fish have to stay in there? One and a half. Days. One and a half day per pound. So probably like so this 12 hot days. Weather, I would go one day a pound. It's hot. Okay. Because the fish will blow it up. Ten days. Yeah. I do this so often in the last 30 years. Well, I'm going to forget by now. It's terrible. Yeah, <laughs> I forget. I forget stuff all the time. Yeah, but wait till you get to 90. Yeah. It's not the same, Alan. You feel like a jerk. <laughs> I do already. Huh? I do already. Oh, yeah, no problem. Okay. Okay. That's what I do is, is when you uh, do this, you can roll it easy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, where the cuts are? Right. That's why I do it. I've done it so often. Now, where's your duct tape? Gotta be wide enough for the salt. Yeah, that's plenty of weight. Okay. Well, you don't have to do it tight around the fish? I don't know. Huh? To go completely around it. Completely make it up. Uh... So what are you doing now? I'm trying to get it ready to tie later. So you got to button that up later. 
so I just tie it ahead of time and stick it through here because you reverse it. I don't want the salt to come out. So Do you, you bust the stomach? Always. I'll yeah. show you. I, I brought the rod with me. My wife washed my clothes every day. So I iron my clothes. So I make sure I don't make it any worse than it has to be. So if it gets huh? if it gets too hot, can I put it in the refrigerator in no. the daytime? No. No. In the winter time, I put it next to a hot water heater. Oh really? Because I want it around seventy degrees. Flies won't hurt it now. I used to do it with my mother. My grandfather. I know a lot of people them. don't know how to do it. They don't know how to do it. They do it wrong and they lose the fish. Yeah. He had a 10 pound black bass. To make honey? 10 pound. And I did it. And it didn't have enough salt in it. And it blew up. Oh, it did? Yeah. So uh, I did it so many times to save time. I do everything ahead of time. I know I have to do this later, see. So I do it now. Not the same anymore when you get old. Oh, you put a hole so you can put a wire in it? Yeah, to hang it. See, that's why I have the wire all cut up. It's very fast once you have done it, you know. Mm -hmm. Get everything done ahead of time makes it easy. Okay, this is to hang it. See, you get everything all done, makes it easy later. And I use the wire over again. I have a hang in the same spot. Oh, really? A button on like this. The thing is this now is Put the salt. Now I got a loose, I'm sure that's enough salt. What I always tell people to do is this. Boy, that's a fat fish, you know that? Here's salt. Okay, now what you do? You gotta punch the stomach? No. You, you don't? Pour it in. Okay, that's good. See, you're gonna get salt all over. No, man. Sweet. Okay, now I'm trying to follow the spine. The spine is here. Yeah. And if you don't have salt in that spine, you shove it down. Yeah, but you're poking a hole through the stomach, right? No, no, you're missing the stomach. I'm going in the spine. Okay. That's a fat fish, you know. Make sure you hit the spine. Because I lost the fish before. I do it right over a garbage can with a board. Man, sweet. And everything goes in the garbage. I don't get it all over the floor. So basically, you're just filling this whole cavity up. Oh, you have to. Until it's, it's so, so tight, you can't push anymore in. It's all the way down here. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to lose a fish. I lost one before and I said, I'm never going to do that again. Now the belly is full. When you hit this, the belly will get full. Yeah. Don't be stingy on the salt. <laughs> because you don't want to lose a fish. You could do all, any kind, like shad or anything. Anything. Shad. I only put it on the outside. Oh, no, on the inside? It's so thin. Yeah. You know. The the one you gave your mom, I salted that down. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, we'll go with the stomach. It's okay. Mm, yeah. Cool. You can feel it. Make sure we're full. Don't be stingy. 
when you fill it like that now. Now I'm gonna button it up. Uh, okay. See, that's why I made I did it ahead of time. Yeah. I can't even bend anymore, Alan. I went to Disneyland last week with the kids, yeah. and I fell. I missed a step, and I oh, landed yeah. on my knee. The lady picked me up and says, you got to be careful. There are three steps here. I thought, well, I thought it was only one. <laughs> but I had a cup of a Starbucks coffee. I didn't yeah. want to lose it. So I stretched <laughs> out and saved my coffee. I forgot to buy my feet. Put a hole in it. Yeah. Here we go. See, this is what you have to do. You have to button it up. If you don't, the salt will all come out. Yeah. With all the little trick you learn through the years, you know. Yeah. Now, fill this up. The main thing is way down the bottom. Make sure you get it. When you're ready to take it out, you call me. Okay. Because that process is very unique, you know. So it takes one and a half pounds per per, per day. Per day. So that's the schedule. Yeah. So that that fish was 12 pounds. So it's going to take 15 days. Exactly. And then there's another process after you you get that done. Well, you have to take the head off and scale it. Your dad complained that it's too hard to scale. I know, how come you don't scale it first? Not now, no. No? No, you salt it down and you scale it, and it's too wet. It's easier to scale when you take it out. And then you cut the head off, and then you hang it up in this, you said the fly won't blow on it, you put it in here and tape it. Oh, uh, okay. The fly would never get in. In the old day, they used a screen box, got darn bugs get in. Yeah. Because those tiny little bugs would get in. So that's it. The Shoot, the flies are going to be swarming all over that thing. What? No. No. I put it in my garage. No flies. This doesn't smell now. No. It's salt. Because that garage is hot. Huh? That garage gets hotter than hell. leave it here. I would say nighttime is going to cool off. I just leave it right here. Yeah. Yeah. Nighttime will cool the, the date, Now, this is cool. Yeah, it's this. cool here. I put it, I'll put it underneath here. Yeah, this is fine. It won't stink. Huh? No, it don't smell. Only <laughs> when it starts rotting, about another five days, you'll smell it. But it's not bad. Okay. Fishing, it's fun, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today.